the men's all-around competition at the World Championship took a drastic turn when heavy favorite Kohei Uchimura suffered an injury to an ankle ligament. So in his absence, we know we will have a new world all-around champion. And basically, it's going to be Manrique. He's qualified in first right now. He has artistry, difficulty. He has Cuba. He has love. He's absolutely going to win. We don't even need to hold a competition. Oleg Vernayev of Ukraine, Mr. Uncle Tim, second to Kohei in Rio. He's qualified fifth in the all around. He has been the second best gymnast in the world for many years now, and he'll never have a better chance than right now to be the king. Kenzo Shirai, Kohei's protege. We know him for brilliant difficulty on floor and vault, but now he's a competitive all arounder who will look to keep the title in the family, in the country. Yul Moldauer from the United States, the bright future of artistic men's gymnastics, the e-score king, making men's gymnastics beautiful again. The Russian hope is David Belyavsky, one of the most refined and artistic gymnasts in the competition. He has original and precise parallel bars work. He's made three event finals, and he's a serious medal threat in the all-around. Nikita Nagorny, the other Russian hope, making triple backs happen again. Qualified 11th, but with two falls, he qualified 11th. He's poised to make a run for the back of the pack to the front of the pack, as long as his hands don't slip off the front of the vault again. Niall Wilson of Great Britain brings presentation and attention to detail, showing that they are not dead in men's gymnastics, and he has now the opportunity of being Great Britain's top all-arounder and medal hope. China has qualified Xiao Rotung and Lin Chaopan to the all-around final. The world all-around champion has been from either China or Japan for every year since 2003, so either Xiao or Lin will be hoping to re-establish the Yang Wei legacy. 